Hi everyone, welcome all of you on my YouTube channel, Deepak Samrani's YouTube channel. So in last class we have discussed about y equal to x to the power n and we have plotted the graph of when n is 2m, that is even numbers, y equal to x square, x4, x6 and so on. And we plotted even the graphs of when n is odd, that is 3, 5, 7, x cube, x5, x7 and so on. Now, third case I will take where I will plot the graph of. So, here we will plot the graph of when n is equal to 1 by 2m, where m is a positive integer that is 1, 2, 3, and so on. That is m. Now, if you look at the general function which I have written that is y equal to x to the power n right. So now this will be y is equal to x to the power 1 by 2 when you put 1 here so 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 6 and so on. Now how its graph will look like now we know that square root function will not accept any negative value. So here there is a restriction on domain because of square root. So domain here you can strictly write here that x has to be positive because square root cannot accept any negative value, cannot accept any negative value. This I will clear in the complex numbers that why square root cannot accept any negative value because square root of minus 1 we will return as iota. So those things we will discuss there. Okay, But here you remember that whenever you are seeing any square root anything inside square root whether it is x or sin x or cos x or tan x if it is inside the square root or x square plus 1 it will not accept any negative value the inside part has to be positive inside part has to be positive inside part has to be positive here inside part is x that has to be positive okay so if this is clear then uh, i'll show you how we can plot it Again, I told you that sketching, I will discuss a separate topic in differential calculus. But just I will tell you the nature of this curve which you should remember. So this curve will look like this will be the curve. This will be the curve. It will except only values which are positive you can see there is in negative axis there is no graph right so it will only accept the values which are positive and see it is increasing like this okay till infinity it will go till infinity it will go that will be the shape of this function that will be the shape of x to the power half x to the power 1 by 4 x to the power 1 by 6 and so on now you can write other things what are the range range is 0 to infinity range is 0 to infinity where 0 is acceptable right and so many other things you can write it is unbounded right there is one root x equal to zero and so many other things you can write this i am leaving on you now let's say i want to plot the graph of the fourth case when n is equal to 1 by 2m plus 1 so odd roots actually i want to plot here and m belong to i plus that is 1, 2, 3 and so on. So if this is the category then y is equal to x to the power 1 by 3. Put m equal to 1 you will get 1 by 3, 1 by 5, 1 by 7 and so on. Now all roots can accept negative values. All roots can accept negative values. So if you see the graph then this graph will look like. This is y, this is x and its graph will look something like this. So here it will touch the axis that also we will see y when I will plot the actual graph. Okay. So this is the graph of, this is the graph of 
y equal to x to the power 1 by 3, 1 by 5 and so on. Now it is accepting all the values. You can see its domain is, if you want to write the domain here. So domain is entire real axis. There is no problem. There is no problem. Entire real axis from minus infinity to infinity, it is accepting everything. What is the range? Projection of graph on y axis, a projection of curve on y axis, that is again r. Because it is taking all the values. It is taking all the values still plus infinity and minus infinity also. All the values it is taking, all the values it is taking. It is bounded, unbounded, it is unbounded clearly because range interval is infinite. So it is unbounded function. It is a non-periodic function. Non-periodic function, right? Non-periodic function. <coughs> Root is x equal to 0. There are no asymptotes, right? No asymptotes. It is increasing function. You can see when x increasing, y is increasing. When x is increasing, y is also increasing. Okay. So this curve will be like this smooth curve. Okay. So it is an increasing function, continuous function. So there is no break in the graph. So it is continuous function. continuous function. Now, if you look at the range, it is minus infinity to infinity. So, infinity, what is the very large number? I don't know. So, maximum does not exist. Maximum does not exist. Similarly, minimum does not exist. Does not Excellent. Same thing you can write for this x to the power half, x to the power 1 by 4, x to the power 1 by 6 and so on. Same thing exactly you can write for them also. So, so that is the graph of these functions. So yesterday we have looked at the graph of the shape, shape of graph of x square, x4, x5 that is concave up type of thing. And then x cube x5 that will be like this. Okay. It will take both the values. Now today we have it in the graph of we have saw the graph of x to the power half 1 by 4 and so on and 1 by 3 1 by 5 and so on so this is the graph right so i hope it is very very clear to all of you thank you for watching the video